All right, John and Joyce, Willstone, Nelson's RVs. Thank you guys so much for calling. Here it is. So we'll cover this thing for you. Integrated A-frame tongue. Spare tire down below. Two batteries. Battery cutoff switch. Two five gallon bottles. And I learned a little bit about LP in service today. Got the power tongue jack with the cover. LED docking lights. Stab jacks on all four corners. I'll give you another look at the tire there. So let me kind of back up a little bit and not get ahead of myself. There is not a scratch or a dead bug on this thing anywhere. So we've got the Schwintec slide, Carefree Colorado slide out, awning topper. Sewer hose storage tube. This is the driver's side of the pass-through. And I'll pull that tray out of the other side. We got a little interior light. Decal's absolutely perfect. I ran the awning out, absolutely perfect. These guys really only use this thing two seasons. They didn't take it all, take it out at all last year. So that is your storage underneath the booth dinette. self printing windows. Tires, tires are a Tomax ST205. Right under here, four season coach. You can see if I can get that. I can't see what the camera's aiming at, but the T handle. Valves are covered, tanks are insulated and enclosed. 30 amp service, detachable power cord. Goes right here. Cable satellite ready. Black tank flush, city water connection. Shower. Six gallon quick recovery water heater. Roof ladder, and that's the same ladder that they put all in all our truck campers. Really just a big old burly thing. LED tail lights, brake markers. Carefree Colorado awning. Outside marine grade speakers. step entry, large entry assist handle. Okay, here's the slide out tray. Let me show you how clean that thing is. I mean, that's, there is absolutely nothing that I don't like about this coach. Metal. Keyless entry. So we'll come in, we'll look at the booth dinette first. Residential lighting up top, clock. I always want to look at corners that get high traffic. So this would be one right here and there's not even a thread out of place on this. You guys are super sanitary people. Television and entertainment center. There's your TV antenna. Satellite 12 volt hookup, all that kind of thing. That's a Jensen LED. All the remotes, everything's still in the package. Um, adjustable shelves. I have the drawer ready to pull for you. So we've got that drawer on both sides of the dinette. And then the little lock mechanism that goes in there to hold it. 
Okay, better now let's kind of hit some more of this stuff. Okay, this is a bookshelf just to the front of the slide. Window treatments. We've got the day-night shades in. I like how they kind of angle this drawer. This is kind of cool. You can see that. But it's got the wood that I want. And that's one of the things that we just you know, we don't see so much in the Lance truck campers anymore, but we still get it in their trailer stuff. Some nice routed out corner edges here. A little shelf up on top above your bed. And there is your front window that we're looking for. Day night shade on that one as well. We got lights. Fantastic fan. Bookshelf on each side of the bed. Yeah, for whatever reason, the bed is screwed down. So we'll take a peek under there and see what's going on. Little bookshelf, key rack. So here we are back at the entry door. So right above, we've got slide out room operation, Carefree Colorado awning, and then awning power, and then light switches coming in the door. We've got the Euro round sink with the Moen style faucet. Deep basin. And even a rug, guys, when you see this. All right, heat return, ducted vents coming out, six cubic foot Norcold refrigerator freezer, spotless. Okay, three burner stove top. Pizza valve start. 22 inch oven for such a small coach a decent amount of counter space and then we have the counter extension on the end here so not too bad storage doors down below as with all the lances the pull out doors we've got three of those access to the 12 volt water pump and winterization and then some decent storage under there as well GFCI Range hood with light and fan, microwave, storage above the sink. We've got the skylight with the blind. Open that back up and get some light back in here. Privacy curtain, you can see the rail goes all the way around. Misses the corner of the bed. They did it right. And let's get your bathroom here. Skylight in the shower. Got the one-piece shower insert. Not much of a step up going up there. And heated, uh, ducted heat into the bathroom. Navy style shut off on the shower so you get your desired temp. You know, you monkey in with that. Just shut her off. Turn it back on and get soap off. See? Vanity below, nice storage, porcelain bowl foot flush toilet, alright storage, here we go, this is what I love about a rear bath, and we're really starting to see this floor plan come around a lot more, so down to the toilet, so we'll look at these drawers, and then voila! Stuff to hang clothes. Just doesn't happen much anymore in an RV. Lights. 12 volt fan. I think I got it all. What I miss? Can you guys think of anything? Um, it's spotless. I'll get the video to you quick. Oh, let's do one more thing. 110 outlet beside the bed with a 12 volt plug and two HDMIs. And then on this side, a 110 outlet. Fire extinguisher, it's all there. Um, I am, I'm gonna give you a call, John, about hitch. And uh, Don has the hitch, 250 bucks. It's a 600 plus dollar hitch. Um, I'll give you a call about that, but he's gonna save it for us. And it's the whole thing, the insert, two and five 16 inch ball, 
equalizer hitch with built-in sway control. So I will talk to you very soon. Thank you, folks.